Hello, my name is Max, and I love the original Super Mario Bros. It's a game I can't put down until I finish, again. I remember the day I got it, it was Christmas of 1988. I got an NES plus some games for it. It came with Mega Man, The Legend of Zelda, Jaws, Pac-Man, Pinball, Smurf Bros 2, Not The Lost Levels, Metroid, and of course, Super Mario Bros. While I en enjoyed the audio games, I got aside from Jaws, Super Mario Bros. was the game I would keep on coming back to. Even as the years passed and I got a Genesis, SNES and later on a N64, I would still keep coming back to Super Mario Bros. I would also do this with Super Mario World. But what's bes beside the point? As the years went on, however, my cartridge was wearing down with age. Glitches were becoming rather frequent. They had been getting worse too. What started off as bright flickering became Goomba spawning in the wrong areas, which led to sprites disappearing like the flagpole due to said glitches. I was soon fed up with the glitch and stopped playing it. Besides, I had just bought Super Mario Bros. Sonic 1, Super Mario 64, F-Zero, and Pinball on the Wii Virtual Console. Today I was playing Mario Kart Double Dash on my Wii, when I felt an urge to relive my childhood and play Super Mario Bros. Even though I had it on my Wii, I was compelled to play it on my NES somehow. I had forgotten about the glitches. They came floating back when I started playing again. I was upset at my short term um, memory loss and getting the better of me. Again for the 18th time that month. I still had a good time anyway. When I got to level 3 minus 3 I decided that I was going to perform the jump over the flagpole trick. I successfully performed it and I was pleased to find that after a while I found some actual level design. I then noticed that I had only 94 seconds on the clock left. The level was rather difficult. I felt like it belonged in wall 7 or maybe 8. When I only had 6 seconds on the clock left, I beat the level. After that, the game played as if nothing ever happened until level 8 minus 4. As soon as I beat Bowser, I was shocked to that instead of Peach, there was only Toad. He said his normal praise and proceed to level 9 minus 1. Soon, the fact that this was all happening to me sunk in and compelled to me, me to write the descriptions of the each of the levels. What I wrote this down below. Level 9 mi minus 1 was very similar in graphics to level 1 minus 1. It started out with four pipes. Each one leading to a dead end with a one up. Once I got out of the four pipe, I noticed a paratrooper hopping on the pipes. He then went off the fourth pipe and landed on a platform I couldn't see. I then paused the game to go take a break. I then came back an hour later and after some basic platforming I beat the level. Level 9 minus 2 was an underground level. The level consisted on, of painfully fought platforming that made me happy about the form 1-ups in a previous level. Near the end of the level there was a spot where I could perform the infinite lives glitch soon after I beat the level. Level 9 mi minus 3 was a very short water level with many cheap cheeps all over the place, even in areas where I couldn't avoid them. So much for my no deaf playthrough. After only a minute, I found a flag on the water and beat the level. Level 9 minus 4 
It's a level I hate. Right at the beginning, I noticed something odd about this level. I had 1200 seconds on the clock. In blocks, I saw the number 4. I then had to fight a bunch of hammer bros in a small corridor. After that was over, I saw in blocks the number 3. I then realized this meant that the level was split up into 4 sections. In section 3, tons of Goombas, Koopas, Piranha Plants and Paratroopers swarmed the area. It was rather difficult but managed to kill them all. In section 2, I had to perform platforming that reviled in difficulty of the lost levels. Did I mention that there are no checkpoints in this level? After many deaths I got to section 1. There was only flat ground. Three item blocks which in order contain a mushroom, fire flower and star man. And a boss room. The world 9 boss is a huge pain. In addition to being faster than the world 8 boss while still having all of its attacks. It can also ram into Mario and one hit kill him. There is also no axe, so he can only be defeated using fireballs. After many deaths I finally beat him, and watched the ending cutscene. I then shut off the game. That was back in December 2006. In June 2008, my house caught fire and I lost my entire NES game collection, including this game. I had been planning to take a month long vacation to the Bahamas, so I was able to see most of my stuff including my Wii. I found the notes previously typed down word for word in a notebook book I had saved. It had reminded me of this distant memory. 